Creating polylines. Let's explore the polyline command. The polyline command combines arcs and lines into one composite shape. Let's go ahead and see what we can create. The polyline command can be found here, within the draw panel under the home tab. You can go ahead and select that. And now we've activated the polyline command. If you come down here, the command line says to specify the start point. I also have a tooltip saying the exact same thing. You can toggle that on and off here with the dynamic input. As you can see, now I no longer have the tooltip. I'll go ahead and turn that back on. Let's specify the first point here, here, and click around a few more times. As you can see, I'm creating lines right now. But if you look at the command line, I have a few more options. I can do arcs, close, half width, length, undo, and width. We'll go ahead and explore the lines, which we're doing right now, and the arcs. Let me go ahead and make a straight line to over here, and then I'll activate the arc. Now the polyline is creating arcs instead of lines. I can go ahead and add another point here and continue to create arcs as I move across. Now maybe I want the arc to go the other direction. As you can see down here, I have a few more options now. I have angle, center, close, direction, half width, line, radius, second point, undo, and width. I'm going to click direction. Now we're creating the arc in the opposite direction. So now the command line is asking us to specify the tangent direction for the start point of the arc. So if I want my arc to start in this direction, I can go ahead and drag this direction and click. And now my arc starts from the direction that I indicated with the angle. I'll go ahead and pull out. I'll go ahead and make another arc. And I'll pan down just so we can continue doing this a few more times. Pull to the side. And I'll pull down. And now you would think if I pulled again, it's going to come down towards the left and then arc towards the right. Another method to do this is to hold the control key. Once you do that, it also changes the direction. I'll go ahead and pan a little bit more. Go back to choosing line and finish creating some lines. I'm going to zoom out, pan to the side of it, click over here, and then I'm going to right click on the screen to bring up the same menu of options. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now if I select the polyline, this is one complete object. I can go ahead and grab any of these grips and I can stretch them out. This allows me to adjust the shape a little bit more. I'll pull this in. I'll move this over like this. And I'll pull this all the way down here. Now, if you ever want to change this into the actual lines and arcs that are creating it, we're going to have to use the explode command. And that can be found here in the modify panel. Don't worry, we'll cover this a lot more later. But for now, you can go ahead and have the object selected. Or if you don't, you can go ahead and activate explode and then select the object. And then once you do so, you can go ahead and confirm your objects by pressing enter. And now the object is exploded into the individual lines and arcs that created it. And you can continue to adjust it with these grips here. But now, it's no longer connected because it's broken into its individual components.